Hello, I'm Georgie Courage Cole, and welcome to the Sherlock Show. Today is a pretty exciting day for the Sherlock team because we are finally in our brand new office and brand new show set. Today we have fashion, beauty, style tips, and lots more. First up, it's panel chat with Lou, Polly, and friend of us all, Toby. We're talking everything from big birthdays to fashion, you name it, we're talking it. Uh, Martha Ward will be sharing the wardrobe rules she lives by during the warmer months, including must have denim and fun accessories. Adiola will be here showing us how to slim down our beauty routines for summer travel. She has all the tips and tricks to make sure you take the heat in your stride. But first, a chat. Welcome. This is quite a big day for us, Al. This is, is so exciting. It already just feels so fresh and new and modern. I'm coming. Yeah, mm-hmm. it feels like first day back at school. Yeah, it does. Mean, like, like, like a new school. Old. Yeah, I'm really there's a real new. buzz in the office. It's so excited. Really nice. Everything yeah. looks so good. Oh, well, it's lovely that you're here on our first day. We were a few days late, but only a few. It's quite a job near the office. I would not recommend it. The stuff, <laughs> I mean, you would not believe. It actually looked like a furniture shop up there at one point. There were more white tables than I've ever seen. We were long on white tables and chairs and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. And got there in the end, hey? Well done. We've got there in my, my, I came in yesterday because we worked from home on Wednesday. I came in yesterday for a few hours to work on a couple of presentations. Ended up chipping all my nails, so don't yeah. look so closely as we did in the last minute. But there's still rubbish everywhere. <laughs> anyway, it looks good today. Nice. Um, well, it's summer. It's the event season. It's in full swing. Mm. Um, I have to say, I've had lots of lovely invitations, and I think I've we're so blooming busy. I've sadly had to turn most of them down. So I'm looking at this list. Ascot said no. Wimbledon said no. Glastonbury not going. Uh, what about you three, Lou? I was meant to be going to Wimbledon next Tuesday, and sadly I'm not anymore. Um, and I was so gutted because I love Wimbledon. It's my like, absolute so favourite yeah. of the year. And yeah, I just I enjoy it so much. Oh, so yeah, I'm really God. gutted. Shame. I know. I know. I was supposed to go next Thursday. And actually, I am going to the, there's a Hurlingham Tennis. Okay, all right. Sorry, Better than nothing. I'm going, I'm going to yeah. Know, quite, uh, yeah, quite like a small tennis tournament. Mm-hmm. You get a bit... Have you ever been to Queens? Yeah, yeah. I usually always go to Queens, okay. but again, this that was just not time. Oh, yeah. Hey. Um, what about you, Davy? I've not had the pleasure of being invited. <laughs> Which is well, crazy. people listen. So, <laughs> <you get TV laughs> yes. But I used to live in Wimbledon, and that was my favourite thing to do every year. I know a lot of residents would like move out of the area, but I used yeah, to. Yeah, did you ever let your house? Just no, we didn't. I was a bit like, I don't want. Yeah. in my house <laughs> I just love like watching people what they're wearing I'm pretty sure one year I kind of saw um, Nadal in the car because I could see the silhouette of him and see all the cars kind of going up to the tennis courts and things like that so it's favourite time of year yeah. for me when I, I knocked there. on the door of the house that Tim Henman was staying in <laughs> when I was a teenager we went on a school trip and got there at like four in the morning to queue and I was so obsessed with Tim Henman what to queue at S which house? is ironic because my husband looks a bit like Tim Henman <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my friend and I, I don't know what we were expecting. I think he was going to ask for his breakfast. Did so you know he was there? Did yeah, we were there. <laughs> no, we didn't get in. We didn't get any further. Anyway. Strange. He did not lost. Lost. No, he didn't. <laughs> How rude. No, not rude. Uh, Polly, what about you? I mean, I've only ever been to Wimbledon once, like a couple of years ago, and that was with a brand, actually. Very nice day out. Yeah. But I don't know, I kind of feel like I might try the queuing up situation, get up at the crack of dawn and try and get some tickets. Cause it's fun. There's a good amount. It's really yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to go again. And I, I love tennis. I love watching it. Tried to learn to play last year. Very intriguing. Oh, yeah. Success. How are you doing? Have you persevered? I haven't had any more lessons since last oh. summer, after I retired for the season. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> um, I've been playing with my husband. He still absolutely flashes me every time. I still it's have the fun. best game. I was yeah. reading. I'm I'm totally off topic here, but I was reading a book called "What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Law School," and I say this with a son who is not hugely into sort of football and rugby, and um, I probably thought he would be, but he's not that child. And but he does do tennis and golf. And in the opening chapter, it said. All these other sports you learn at school are a waste of time. They're not before I get, you know, they're all good for team building. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it said that tennis and golf and things you can play throughout your life. And yeah. The yeah, ones that you should focus on. Yeah. 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 
Oh, yeah. you don't know me. Yeah. Anyway, how was your holiday? Oh, it was so nice. Thank you. It was like just exactly what we needed. I yeah. think a week somewhere, a little bit quieter than the. Was it just the two ones. of you? Just the two of us. Yeah, in a nice hotel. And where were you? Beach everywhere. Um, we went to an island called Skopelos, which you fly into Skopelos and get a ferry, which is about half an hour. And it's where they film Mamma Mia. So. Oh, yeah. and you went to the church. Yeah, we went to the church. Oh like, my God, Coco it. would die. She's <laughs> obsessed with that film. So lovely. And like they do have a bit of like, you know, they know that's where they film. That's it's their big thing. But it, yeah. it doesn't feel like too touristy. Yeah. The beaches are just stunning. It looks amazing. Oh, that's yeah. so fun. It was so lush and just like great food. Not too like crazy expensive either, which was a real bonus. Just like loved it. it was, oh I'd God. really recommend it. I, I'm thinking of the song where, you know, the friend... He's so hilarious with the glasses. He's lying on the beach and she gets oh, yeah. Really <laughs> so good. So good. Um, have you ever been to Lastonbury? No, no, I've always. Uh, do you know what? I love the idea of it, and I, I've said on the podcast why I'd like to be like dropped in for a day <laughs> and, then, and then and then removed. But, um, yeah, yeah. I like. I think I couldn't do the ten. Well, I mean, you could do like Camp Carola. I mean, that's like sell a kidney. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know someone who's there. She sent me a picture of her tent. I'm like, that's a Frickin' a scholar starts, right? That is a serious hotel. Well, I mean, it yeah. is mega, mega, mega. Well, I don't even, I sort of like the idea. Yeah. I, every year I say next year. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's also like so long. It's like, what, a five day festival? It's really long. Yeah. That. And it's like you got to so, pace yourself. So massive, isn't it? So, like, every day is probably really exhausting because you have to walk for yeah. Yeah. such a long time. I've done It's the getting out. Yeah. Stresses, stresses me out. out. Yeah. I've got this thing on a Sunday if you come back to London. Yeah. My granny was like this. I'm like, I'm almost packed. I'm ready to go. Like be- before, yeah. You know, I just Sunday's always. I start to get yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Like, if you live in the city and you've got to get back, I get yeah, this. I'm like, you've got to go. You've yeah. got to go. You've got to go. The thought of being like four hours yeah. on that station. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I thought of that one year. I went to festival and I think we sat in a queue just to get out of the campsite for seven hours. <gasps> oh my oh goodness! Oh. I was like, am I going to die here? Like. I literally, I, it crossed my mind. I was just like, I, I, I felt claustrophobic. Yeah. Like, years ago, I was cute. Um, like, luckily, the next year we went, and it was much better. But that, also, that is, yeah, that's, yeah. that puts you off. I think go a day early. I'm, 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 I'm also. Lou wouldn't let me have my diet cake. <laughs> but the pineapple's not here. Sneaky reckons. Where's the whip? Think, where is the chic look of the uh, of the set? Sorry, I'm really thirsty, <laughs> and you're making me quite hot. <laughs> but I, I, I actually. Often when you go to a concert they, and they do an encore, I've gone. Oh, and yeah. I'm running yeah. towards the tune. Out. Out. Especially the if you know like the playlist of that particular what artist, you're kind of thinking, all right, she's getting yeah. towards the end of her set. Yeah. It might be toxic, but I'm off. Yeah. yeah. I always yeah. say to my husband, I always want to leave while the party is like still in full play. Yeah. Like, don't yeah. go when it start to get down. Yeah. He was like, that's so, that's so boring of you. I was like, no, 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 I like to leave when it's good. Yeah. I'm not I a good leaver, but I am when there's traffic. Yeah. 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 Same. Yeah. Um, anyway, slightly off topic. Um, talking of summer events, um, summer outfits. I was hoping that it was going to be really nice weather and I could wear my gear for summer outfit, mm. but it's not that day to day. Do you have a formula? I feel like I dress very differently in the winter. In the winter, I am very, very much about tailoring and I'll always wear a blazer and jeans mm. and, I mean, generally a blazer jeans and a roll neck or a t-shirt or do you and, and do you have a formula, Lou? I mean, I know you're a yeah. Tra- you're quite a trouser girl, even in yeah. the summer. Do you have a, a sort of go-to formula? Yeah, I would say um, summer in the city. Um, it would be a kind of a loose, lightweight, tailored trouser um, with then either a shirt or a t-shirt and sandals, and then on holiday it would be a short black dress. Nice. You love your black in the summer. Yeah, you? I really like. Yeah, like. I just, a linen. Yeah, a linen, a quite a less kind of A line. I've got a really lovely road one. Um Dish so kind of, have some nice. Yeah, but yeah, good I prefer kind of short thing. than long. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. So I'm the opposite. I'm almost no black. And then I think there is a formula. I, I feel like I have to have a really nice dressy dress. So that could be bash, which I really love. Yeah. Because they do like kind of nice um I just don't know how you call the fabrics, so either glittery or foily yes. fabric. Yes. It's like a dark red. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll try and get one of those, maybe in the sale in the summer. Then definitely coloured, fun dresses. Yeah. Um, That's pretty. Where's that from? Colt Gaia. It's really nice. Yeah. That's why. They are doing... <laughs> They're doing they really good stuff They are just going from strength to strength, yeah. aren't they? And, and, 
And, you know, not a bargain, but a yeah. nice price for a um, designer brand. Um, I just waited to the next quarter they sale and I was like, go! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Who was it? Hodge, I'm looking at over there, was saying, the match is set. She was like, it is epic. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. And so, super dresses as well, always. Yes. So you're a dress girl. I'm a dress girl, but I do also like a tank top because I like my shoulders. So I do also mm. like a bit of a tank top, yes, tailored um, trouser or tennis yeah. shorts. And I feel the same actually. I'm like, conversely, I'm not really a dress girl that often, but I do love just a tank top, yeah. like that exact one that you're wearing actually. It's, like, it's like they're the best the ones, best. in my humble opinion. Me too. Um, I I I think this I'm, is this is fresh out of the package. Is oh, it? Yeah, I, love it. So I think I bought six in total. Wow, they're so those. good. Yeah. I, you don't have to wear a bra with them because they're thick enough. Yeah. Like, and they're not they too scoopy. No. I have to say. Yeah, when it if comes to you're in very much. very flat chested. Sorry, that sounds. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm really, <laughs> I am pretty flat chested. Yeah, but then, but even then, the really scoopy ones. And this, I mean, and like, doesn't have a bit. I do know what you mean. Like they kind of cut in the right place, so you can wear a strapless bra with them if you want to. Yeah, if you, like need a bit of support, but they kind of they suck I you often in don't. Like, they're quite. Yeah, yeah. I need all the support. I've got my bra on because it's so tight. It's like so yeah, tight. They really so, yeah, they really suck you in the right yeah. way. Yeah, Sandra Bay, check out the tanks. Not yeah. spot. We just love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not at all. We're no. we're big fans. The big fans. So yeah, so you like a tank? I do like a tank. I like a pair of shorts. I've actually like on holiday, I really lived in a pair of shorts, like a matching shirt. So either like those linen sort of daisy ones mm, or watch. that I feel like a yellow seersucker one from with nothing underneath which what's, I, I tried that on actually in the it's store so in Elizabeth nice. Street you've got to go yeah what's the that lovely brand Elaine is wearing the linen top today that's da- that's daisy isn't it no that's Jocelyn that Jocelyn that's thank like, you oh, Jocelyn they've got some just, yeah really, really nice I just I like got my dress in there lovely so lovely nice. well yeah. I'm a real dress girl I'm yeah Never, ever really wear dresses in winter. Never, never. It's always trousers. But in the summer, I'm a real... Press. I think there's a picture yeah. of me in a clip dress. But I'm <laughs> a real hair back, dress, gold earrings and flats. And I yeah. wear that to work, at the weekend, yeah. to barbecue, to the tennis, in Ibiza. Like, that is literally yeah. my formula, yeah. which I was hoping to have to say, but anyway, I'm not. But if it ain't broke, eh? yeah. it ain't broke. Exactly. We were supposed to be talking about turning forty and how that feels, but we're out of time. Um, probably none of you are forty, are you? No. Sadly. <laughs> well, all I will say is actually forty is great. Apparently, fifty is even better. Mm, not sure how I feel about turning fifty. Thankfully, it's a long way off. Um, Thank you so much, ladies. Lovely to have you all next up. Martha Ward is here with her style rules for summer. More people need this in their lives. Oh, this is nice. I've got one of those. So how much sparkling wine or Sauvignon Blanc? Definitely sparkling wine. Club soda or sparkling water. And then that much sounds mad. That's cool. Should we test it? I love that. Oh my god, that is so bloody good. That's delicious! That is nice. It reminds me of tequila shots. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, I knew you'd like it. Is that how a margarita tastes these days? Bottoms up, guys. Cheers. I mean, that would slip down. Four out of four for me. You look at my Heather's hot list of food. That is endless. There's tacos in London. Yeah, grilled chicken. Can we try a number one and a number 11? Put a wine, yellows, and tuna one over you. Actually, quite hungry now. Oh, wow, look at this. Sorry, green dinner right here. Dan Dan noodles. It's not healthy, you're right. Bloody good day. How's that? Delish. I like one of these if it is having gum and old time. Rich, you turn the camera off. Welcome back. Next up, I am thrilled to be joined by Martha Ward. I mean, your CV is pretty impressive. She's a stylist, a red carpet stylist, the global fashion director of Condé Nast, traveller. Uh, what else did I write down? Red carpet dresser. I mean, you dressed Gillian Anderson for six years. Amazing, amazing. Um, such a thrill to have you here in our new studio Thank today. You. Thank you for um, having me. It's wonderful to have you. You look gorgeous. You're Thank wearing you. one of the pieces you've designed with Bamford. I am, and I and, have. And I mean, we're here to talk about summer style. We're going to bring in their pieces. A, they're very, I'm looking at the wrong camera. A, they're very pretty. And B, they're really going to illustrate the points that you're going to talk us through yeah. today. 
Um, can we can we talk about your shoes for a quick? We can minute? talk about my shoes. Can you lift your feet up can. just in yes, case I was the camera can't see I'll do them? That. Um, they're fabulous. Well, they're extremely comfortable. Are they? The only reason I'm able to stand here for 10 minutes and talk to you is because they are chunky heeled, very comfortable. The Aquasera from last summer. Great. Um, but they are now the only heels that I can wear because I well, find that's it very difficult shame. to wear a pointy point heel unless it's a low heel. So I thought these were quite good. But to be honest, I normally wear this dress with my Birkenstocks. Um, or a sandal, but you know. she, she likes the Birkenstocks. We're, we're getting the we'll idea. We'll get on to those. Um, anyway, Martha doesn't believe in rules. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to call today's, not tips, we're going to call them principles. principles. We're going to call I them like principles. principles. Styling principles. Styling principles yeah. of summer dressing. Yeah. And as I said, you've got some bound for bits um, here and... I've got some other things catching my eye on that table that I'm just going to have to be patient for. Um, but are. can you talk to us about versatility? I'm fascinated yes. as to what this means when it comes to summer dressing. Yes, I know. It's a, it's a kind of annoying word that people use when they're talking about how to get dressed. But I do think I find that, that versatility... I know, I know. Like, but one of my key things when I designed this collection, I designed a capsule collection of seven pieces, and I wanted them all to be versatile. Because the way I've always dressed and the way that people ask me about my dressing is that you could, as I say, just as easily wear this with a pair of Birkenstocks um, as well as a heel and a jazzy earring, which we'll get on to. Yeah, yeah. But I really want to be able to wear something in several ways. And also, mm -hmm. not just that, but this can also be worn, let me demonstrate, in a very pretty light bow, mm -hmm. which might be your look. It's very much my look because I love a bow. But then actually some people want to reveal their chest. So then yeah. you can do that and you can unbutton as many buttons as you want. You can get all the way to the navel. Yeah. You could. You, you could wear the bikini but swimsuit underneath. That and is actually a we very were, different yeah, you know, and look we were just talking, and feel. We were just talking on the sofa before this yeah. about what our sort of signature look was for summer. Yes. And actually, yeah, to me it's a dress that you can put with a suit like yeah. that. Or You've got to be able to wear things whatever. in different ways. So, so that is versatility. Though. Okay, so this is a smock dress. Yeah. Um, heels or flats. Yeah. And yeah versatility. Easy pockets, by the way, very important. Oh, we love a pocket. I mean, you can't have a dress without pockets. It frankly. is the prettiest cotton, I have to Thank say. You. I'm a very um, lucky owner Stickler. of the, what do you call it, the waistcoat sort of Oh, that's the tuxedo shirt. shirt. And which is down here, which we will talk about. But yes. Okay. It's very it's, light. Oh, yeah. I put it in white. It's very, very light and great for summer. Yeah. And it's 100% organic cotton. Okay. Um, and all the detail on all these pieces is hand. The artisans there are extraordinary. They're made in India. But they are, everything is hand smocked. Everything is hand embroidered. And detail for me, I know we're going to talk about it a bit later, but detail for me is vital. And actually little details make all the difference. And in fact, if you look closely, this is heart smocking, which I've never seen before. You see the hearts? Oh, upside down hearts. Well, the some are upside down, some are They, in order to go front way, yeah. they also have to go back. This is true. Georgie. This is true. Uh, anyway, yeah, but lovely. Yeah. So, yes. So thank very you for commenting on the very soft cotton because it is. It is very, very, very soft. Very cool. Thank you. Um, can we talk about layering? Yes, layering. So I'm a big one for layers because I do get quite cold, and I also like cold swimming. And you then need to do be you able one to of those, immediately. Put something warm. I'm one of those. <laughs> I've always been one of those. It's not just a new kind of lockdown you know, thing. But yeah, I do like to dip into the cold water and then get out. And you always want something lovely if you're cold wearing. Oh, I'm not good at. Do you know what? Weirdly, I can't do the showers. Yeah. I can't do a cold bath or a cold shower, but I don't mind going into the minus 4C, which is kind of a curious thing. But anyway, so something like that, for example, again with the ties, ribbons thing. Gorgeous with a, I quite like a chunky cardigan because I like the juxtaposition of chunky. Can't undo those buttons. I'm not I mean, Kanye is that, so that. key in the summer and. You need it in England. Yeah, that's a really nice Countryside, one. Countryside, London, Where's wherever that one you are. From? I've got one very similar to that actually. That but it's a bit shorter. Is from my absolute favourite discovery. It's called Navy Grey. Oh, yeah. And it's a wool mix. It's not cashmere, but does that not feel like cashmere? Yeah, it feels great. So, it's super lovely. soft, love cream. I know it gets quite dirty quite quickly, but actually. You just want to wrap yourself up. I've got a cream cardigan. I'm trying to think where it's from 1971 or something. I can't remember. Oh, okay. But anyway, and, and it's like that, and I live in live it in, in it. the summer over. Yeah. I have over say, that. I have this in white. Oh, do you? Um, because this was in your. This so, was a year ago. It was a nighty. Yeah. So my my obsession with nighties becoming day dresses goes back to like childhood. So I've always bought 
vintage dresses, generally either French or Victorian, and they were either underskirts or they were bedwear. Underskirts. So I was like, I want to do some nighties. You can also wear to the beach, down to breakfast, without looking like you're in your nightie. Yeah. So I've got friends who only sleep in that, whereas I only actually wear that on the is beach. Is that right? I think the white so, is, the pink makes it a bit more dangerous. It does. This is an incarnation of that, and this yeah. is new this year. Okay, well, but it's lovely. I have it. Thank you. And do it's you wear it as a nightie? I do, yeah. There you go. And Would I, you wear it in the day? I, will, I might now. On holiday? I might now Good. with my with you, junky cardigan. Kitty. With a cardi? Yeah, Caskets. You're off. Sandals. Yeah, I'm away. Done. Thank so, you. So, yeah. And that also God, thank God is, you came in. <laughs> and that's also navy grey. Very soft. They're just nice. Yeah, they are nice. I don't know. And I do love really because fair. it gets nippy in the That's a pretty colour. Thank you. Okay, so layering, layering, that is key. Yeah. Um, Can we talk swimwear? Yes. What's your advice when it comes to swimwear? I mean, I love the idea of, of you know, unbuttoning what you're wearing now and having your swimwear underneath and having yeah. something like that you can throw on at lunchtime. Yeah. Um, I mean, I first of all, I do love one piece because I think they're jolly comfortable mm -hmm. and they're very, very uh, flattering. This is from Cosy & Co. I have this. Such good fabric. And white. Oh, I it's love that one. Of, and it really holds that. you in. It really holds you in. That is proper good fabric that just holds everything in. I think um, Leeds just bought that exact. Oh, really? She was talking about a corn flower yellow one. And this is why I love... So what I've done here, this is actually not meant to go together, but I quite oh. like the idea of the top with the bottoms. They don't exactly match yellow-wise, but I don't care. I, I do they look quite love... Cool. A, I love a high-waisted sort of 50s yeah, bottom. Me and too. then mixing them is, yeah. is really cool, I think. I like the mixing. Yeah, and this I is Heidi too. Klein again. I love the... Do you think if you they mix, though... these fabrics. Do you think if they mix, yeah. that they have to be from the same... They need to be the same material? Yeah, yes. I would say that. There, yeah. There's a rule. I don't, as you know, go for rules, but there is a rule. We got a rule out of that. We got a rule. Um, and this is Heidi Klein. Because they look weird and it looks like you've got the wrong bikini on. Yeah. Heidi Klein, also good, very good on the tits. I also really like, back to the versatile, to be able to take the straps off because I want to sunbathe without marks. Yeah. So straps on, straps off, jolly useful, and also then good for a swim with the straps back on. Great quality, um, color, Heidi Klein. I like color. As well. I like color when it comes to swim. And again, over the shirt, yeah, I'm over the shirt, under the shirt. Yeah. You know, yeah. tied up in a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just that bikini, you know, that swimsuit with the trousers. Yeah, or some denim shorts or something. Denim I, yeah. shorts. Yeah, I, I mean, love this. A swimsuit is a body, I mean. Yeah, and also I've, I, I now quite like a sarong again. I've gone back into sarongs. Detail. You've touched on mm. that lovely hot stocking. Yeah. Um, and bows, the detail I love bows. is so pretty. It's, all, Ruffles, it, it's, it's got real antique vibes, hasn't it? Thank it's you. It's lovely. It um, has. What, talk to us but, more about detail. I mean, you're a sort of girly dresser I you? am a girly dresser and so I lovely. think because a lot of the look now and I think I think hopefully people will be so delighted you're here because <laughs> the look now from a lot of talent that we see is you know it's the polar opposite and I'm sorry I'm still know, dressing it's like cream probably and, either a yeah. child or a granny and not much in between well, so it's this lovely is very, very refreshing but no, the, the detail thing for me the way I've always shopped and the way I've always been drawn to things is and particularly with my vintage clothes is Details that are quite hard to find now. So it could be, I mean, actually, to be fair, lots of people are now doing it, but fabulous collars or very good pockets or very good embroidery or smocking or just those sorts of details mm. that historically were in, you know, clothes made a very long time ago. Mm. I mean, like, long, long clothes that we used to wear as right? children. So I picked up lots of those things and I placed them in this collection. And look, it's not for everybody, yeah. but actually uh, some of my most unfeminine girlfriends have bought some of these things because yeah. they're like, oh, actually, I didn't realize I could wear them in the yeah. pink. So you can sort of get your head around without it being, again, if you've got your rule book. Yeah. So yeah. actually, yeah. I've so got a, I've got a great, a bit, a big um, thing. I've got a great CMYC quilted jacket. Oh, yes, I love which that. Which would be lovely <gasps> over one Really nice. Yeah. You wish yeah. have that on here. Sorry, um, sorry Talk to us about buying better. I mean, I always think that su summer dresses last quite well, don't they? So yeah. We don't wear them for that Not long. Enough, sadly. There's a, yeah. But it's, I always think it's nice to invest in a couple of nice pieces for the summer. And definitely. You sort of love getting them out when, when it's that time. And definitely, it's warm enough. definitely. And I think that we all now to be, need to be very conscious about how we're shopping and what we're buying. And it's quality over quantity. Mm. And again, that goes back to the detail thing. But I do think that when, yeah, I think we need to be buying less mm -hmm. and loving them and keeping them as treasures mm -hmm. and and I looking think. after our clothes and making sure that we're not buying crazy directional mm -hmm. trend pieces 
because you then don't want to wear that in a year's yeah. time. Or in fact, you don't want to wear it in three months' time, let alone a year's yeah. time. So and I've these, always you know, shopped sort of... with quite longevity in mind, and I think longevity is really important when it comes to shopping. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll to that. I mean, these are sort of, they're sort of bash, marge, maybe more marge kind of prices, yeah. aren't they? So I think you've got to think to yourself, it's two hundred ninety-five pounds. Instead of buying three tops or whatever, yeah, so much cheaper. From, yeah, invest in something that's gonna, yeah, get better. That last. And well. again, I, you know, I do think that you can be wearing this in however many years' time without it yeah. being a very obvious trend. Agreed. So um, that's why I shop. We, we've touched on femininity mm. and celebrating being girly. I mean, I think it's great to be a woman. I'm, you know, I love occasionally. Looking sharp, yeah. But equally, I, I like prettiness. Details. I like details. Yeah. I do like a smart. I mean, you can look up a colour palette here. Can Very we, pastel-y. Can, it's sugar almonds. Can you talk to us about how you've made a sort of tuxedo top? Oh yes. Will you, will you Moving into my move? most masculine item on my <laughs> rail, <laughs> which is the tuxedo shirt. Now I'm obsessed with men's shirts. I've been buying um, dress shirts in vintage shops and at markers for years. And I wear them over bikinis, and I wear them tucked into trousers, and I wear them long over jeans, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I wanted some kind of incarnation of that, um, but obviously with a little bit of femininity in it. So obviously the embroidery, tiny bit of it in there. The embroidery obviously gives it that. But I know girls, friends of mine, who wouldn't necessarily be drawn to that pretty frothy <gasps> puff oh. sleeve number, which I understand is a girly. And then I thought, let's bring something in that's but a little can... bit more masculine and you can wear that over jeans with your Birkenstocks yeah. Yeah. or you can wear actually I wear this also which is my new favorite way to wear it tucked in which I didn't think would work oh, tucked, tucked in. into a trouser oh. let's say for example they are we'll go, we'll go, I know that wasn't really meant to be I on mean, there but that happened to be really the last time I wore it I know rope belts might be my next thing so actually like that quite nice or you just wear it over I put it in and as I said I got it in white and I wore it tucked in and it's quite low, so I actually wore a little tank. Yes, it is quite low. It can is we, quite can low. we talk about this? Because this is fab. And what I, I mean, you've got some jewellery here that I, I can't keep my eyes off for any longer. If you want to move on to the jewellery. Let's talk about the jewellery. Because, you know, this is pretty. You but, could wear that with your skirt. But, you know, you could wear that with you your could, skirt. You could, and people wouldn't, because they would think that they didn't work, earring. but they do. And a fabulous and, earring. I mean... Or we go a little me. bit sort of costumey. These were... These are the best thing I ever bought. They were the Marnie H&M the Marnie, collection. I, yeah. And I don't know how much they were. Nineteen ninety nine. I, mean, I was going to say they're Marnie. Yeah. The Marnie H&M. Yes. I know. I'm not I a great queued. queuer. I'm not I a great queued. queuer. And let me tell you, that tr would transform. If I went out tonight, bit of lipstick, those, oh. fabulous handbag, you're off. Couldn't and actually, they're conversation starters. I wear them quite I, a lot. I'm going to give you that. To put back that Where top are they from? Gorgeous. What price is that top? That's what you've got. I think it's about 285 Gorgeous. And those are from someone lovely, and I'm going to see if there's a name on the back. I'm sure there isn't. Do you know what I heard of the other day? A place you can go in Hatton Garden. Yes. Where if you buy, I've got these mango earrings. Yes. Like transform an outfit there. Yes. These sort of Love folded. Mango. They're not molten, but you know, they're that sort of, they're really, and they just, I need gold earrings in my Yeah, your gold. The gold is good. But they, you can take your high street stuff if you find a high street piece with that. Yes. And they'll dip it for you. Oh! Do you know about I this? want that, no. But they I do know about minutes, dipping. I have dipped. Up, and they just dip your high street stuff. Okay, amazing. So yes, please. Um, the hat, you're you big hat girl in the summer? No, not in the slightest. But I really like this hat. It's from Helen Kaminsky. And look how sweet that is. Very. That's when I go into my old lady mode, you see. I'm it's no great. longer the child. I'm now an old lady. <laughs> my basket. Um, talk us through the baskets. I mean, we're not... Baskets. You know, when it comes to principles, not yes. rules, you got to have a summer basket. You've got to have a summer basket. And by the way... And they just, this whole rail, they just go, where are you if you're not with a summer basket in these days? So the, the thing about the basket is I then get to September and I go, I'm not ready for the baskets to go away. So I then end up using them. I've got little Loewe ones, like which I love, but I use them all year round. So, and I know I probably do look a bit weird with a sort of navy blazer and a basket, but they're bloody, sorry. They're very useful. And you can just get everything in. Love it. And there's obviously one, you can see my rope thing. There's, there's one, one inside, inside I'm going to reveal in a moment, <laughs> but you can see my love of rope. Yeah. That goes back to the detail. I'm enjoying your love of rope. I'm very, that rope belt, I'm particularly enjoying. I know, we're going to that. We're going to, to that. Um, uh, but this is just a sweet, very easy little 
going to lunch basket. Where do you pick up a good basket? Um, the markets. Actually, Dales. Everywhere do. I go, Dales would do good Actually, baskets. Not an ad, they but do, Dales they do, they do, they do. do. They sell out, but they do do great baskets. And can I also tell you, Bonpoint, I don't have children, but I go into Bonpoint quite a lot because they've got very, very nice accessories, and that's from Bonpoint. Is it? Yes. Great About tip. four years ago, but they will still do them. Because they do some, you know, version of it. Every I summer. am loving that, so, and, and I know I, viewers. I hope you're not frustrated that you can't buy those fabulous earrings. But it's lovely to see. But it's lovely to see an int intelligent approach to fashion that's not all new, new, new. Um, yeah. Before we finish, yeah. Um, I, I know you like an accessory. You like a girly accessory. I do. Um, and I it does you, make all the difference with a dress, doesn't yeah. it? A belt. Can I have you talk to us say, through a couple of belts? So You've got some corkers there. This, you know, again, I haven't actually worn this with this. I'm just going to give it a whirl because I reckon it'll probably work. But I think that that definitely gives it a different look. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. I think we've and I love, thing. it would also look good around there, but I also quite like the idea of that. <gasps> this is one of, I know you like this, this is a Pepper Holt belt. And again, all artisan hands woven. With the hand yellow, made, but that I'm is sorry, look at that. And I love the fact that it's long. I want that hanging down, yeah. almost judo belt style. Hanging down long in the middle, but look at that combination. So and Pippa, that does change that. Pippa Holt dresses are an investment. You can yeah, buy the are. belts on their own, can you? You can buy the belt on its own. What are they, 100 and... 120? But again, can I, I say, would almost... Uh, I mean, I think I could almost be wearing that belt could. today. But you literally could. This is my thing about rules. I don't want people to be beholden to rules oh. ever because actually everything and anything goes. And it means that your wardrobe Hodge is, is looking, greatly with, looking at me with dreamy eyes going, <laughs> I need that belt. But also you could wrap that. I would do that and put the belt round the Oh, yes, again, yes. Right? Yes. Right, we're running out of time. I'm getting looks. But I know, there's sorry. some bits on here More that belts. when you're here, we can't not see what you've got, Martha. What Quickly, is, I mean, glasses. this is just life. I mean, um, Linda Farrow. Look at those. Linda Farrow, they won't be current season, you're going to say, but I mean... No, you can get these now. Can you? And the chain. It's all Linda the chain Linda Farrow too? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. But you know... I mean, they've been, the she, they've been doing these glasses for, for a long time. Exactly. Very cool. And again, they're vintage inspired and I love vintage, as you know. So, oh, and then we have just other wonderful. versions of, of obviously, baskety bags, but more this evening This is sweet. So, you know... Where's that just, from? Um, hunter season. And I'm pretty sure they still do that. Because that's Lovely. their staple, and they do it in all sorts of different colours, like fabrics, weaves, bag, doesn't it? Um, um, and there's some shells and some just anyway. belt. You know, I pick these up everywhere. You can get them in Portobello Market. You can get them in any junk shop. You can get them in, in charity shops, beaches. I bought that in a shop in the south of France. Um, Amazing. So basically, know. girly, girly, embrace summer, embrace yes. all things feminine. Why well, yeah. why to last? Um, Martha, thank you so much. You're very Congratulations welcome. on another amazing collection. There will be links in the show notes below. But to check out the Bamford collection, visit bamford.com. And do follow Martha on Instagram at Martha Ward. Uh, that's it. But coming up next, Adiola is here giving us all her tips for summer travel. Let us introduce you to We Shop. The new shopping platform that allows you to earn shares every time you shop. How does it work? First, download the app using Sheerlux as your referral code. Once you're in, you can follow your friends, favourite brands and tastemakers just like on all other social media platforms. Make sure you encourage your friends to join and follow you too. It will come in handy later. Once you're all set up, head to the Discovery tab, where you'll see your favourite retailers, from Netta Porter and H&M to Selfridges and ASOS. Simply click through to shop your existing wish list via the platform. And then, and here's the fun bit, Complete your purchase as normal and the WeShop shares you've earned will be automatically added to your account. If you spent £100, you'll earn £20 back in shares. You don't only earn shares when you buy something on WeShop. 
Every WeShop member has a profile where you can build your portfolio and tell people about something beautiful you found or share the purchase you're really excited about. For example, whether it's a new Diptyque candle from Space NK, a chunky chain bracelet from Monica Vinader, or a spring dress from Mango. You can upload a picture of it onto your grid with a link directly to the product. It's called a recommendation. And if one of your followers buys it, you earn shares. Introduce your friends to the platform and you'll also be rewarded. You'll receive 1% of the value the new member spends on the platform when they use your handle as a referral code, which you can then cash in if you wish or continue to save and build your share portfolio. Social media meets online shopping and a simple way to grow your savings. In one handy, fun platform. We shop. Why wouldn't you? Adela Boyega here and now in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my must-have summer beauty favorites now we're all taking as well-deserved holiday trips and if you're anything like me one of the things that I dread most is packing I am a massive procrastinator when it comes to packing and I will always leave it to last minute but the one thing that I actually look forward to packing are my favorite beauty products and it's always a bit of a task trying to narrow it down because I'm a self-confessed beauty junkie but it gives me so much satisfaction when I'm able to get it all down into my beautiful travel bag so let me share with you my must-haves and the products that I think that you should be including in your beauty to edit when you're going away this summer. Now, the first product that I packed is this cult product from Kodaly. It is the Beauty Elixir. Now, as a makeup artist, I've used it in my kit for years. You've got some really great ingredients in there. You've got rosemary extracts in there. You've also got rose, which is one of my favorite ingredients, which is super soothing, but you've also got grape extracts, which are fantastic antioxidants to really help to protect and nourish your skin. I love to use this as a way to kind of really kind of enliven my complexion. It just leaves my complexion glowing. And there's so many different ways that you can use this on your skin. So after you've cleansed your skin, I love to use it as like a toner to really kind of boost my glow and give my skin that radiance. Um, I also love to leave it in the fridge so if I've had a long day or if I'm traveling, um, you can obviously pop it on as a really great way to refresh the skin. It feels incredible. It's one of the only products that I take with me when I'm traveling on my flight as well. Um, it's 100 mil so you can definitely take that with you on your flight. It's definitely a summer essential. The next product that I want to talk about is this one by Sol de Janeiro. It's the Milky Leaving Conditioner. Now, especially when you're traveling and you're going to be in the sun, your hair can come under a lot of stress and a leave-in conditioner is a fantastic way to, you know, really protect your hair in between those wash days, especially if you are going to be in the sun and also in the water. It doesn't weigh your hair down. I used it earlier today before I dried my hair and it just feels really, really lovely and it really helps to take away any frizz in my hair as well which I really really love but it doesn't do it in a way that's going to wear your hair down but honestly this is one of my essential products this summer to really help protect my hair to really soothe and nourish at the same time but also leave it feeling and smelling absolutely gorgeous as well next up is a really cool gadget guys i've been obsessed with this recently and i've really enjoyed using it this is the anti-breakout wand by a brand called solar wave and it's really really nifty what i love is that this is a really small tool that combines some of my favorite therapies and treatments that i love to do on my face things as therapeutic warmth facial massage microcurrent therapy and led blue light therapy all of these combine in this one amazing tool that will really help my skin. So you've obviously got the microcurrent technology which is really good for stimulating the skin um, and ensuring that you get that more sort of a tighter, more smoother look to your skin, which I love. I love microcurrent technology. Um, you've also got the blue light therapy which is actually really good if you are prone to breakouts because as we know, blue light therapy is fantastic to help um, reduce the appearance of breakouts and we treat the skin as antibacterial as well. Um, you've also got in there this vibration technology which really helps to kind of 
really sort of stimulate the skin but also if you've got puffiness in certain areas maybe for example around the eyes it's really beautiful for that and then a therapeutic warmth which is what i really really love which is also very soothing for the skin but honestly, this tool is fantastic. It also aids in the absorption of skincare. So before I apply this, I popped on a bit of um, hyaluronic acid, which is really great for this tool, but also it's really hydrating. So imagine this when you're on a holiday, really soothing. And I really am looking forward to taking it away with me on holiday. Now, sun protection is a must whilst we're on holiday, but I think we can all agree that we want sun protection that doesn't leave us feeling greasy, that doesn't feel too heavy, and just feels like a joy to use. And this one by a brand called Hello Sunday, it's called the Take Out One, is fantastic. It's an SPF 30, it provides you with UVA and UVB protection, which is a must but it's a stick and it's super easy to use. It's so weightless. Look how it just kind of goes onto the skin. You can blend it in, but it's beautiful and it's multi-purpose. So you can use it on the body, for example, your arms, your elbows, you can use it on your lips. I love applying it, but what I also love is that it's great, especially for the scalp as well. A lot of us do forget about using sun protection on our scalp. So you could just take a little bit of this on the scalp, blend it in. It's also great to kind of like stick down flyaways as well. If you are on the hunt for an SPF that you can take with you, that's great for topping up throughout the day, and you can use it on your body and your face and your scalp, then definitely check out, check out this one by Hello Sunday. One thing that I love about summer is the fact that all these amazing beauty brands bring out these really gorgeous beauty edits that allow you to create endless makeup looks. Now this one by Veeam is a stunner. It is the Face Dimension Palette. Look at that. You've got a highlight in there, a blush, an intense blush and a bronzer. I'm going to go in with the bronzer which I'm going to use on the high points of the face just under my cheekbone just to give a bit of definition and then also on my jawline but I also remember to take the bronzer down onto my neck and chest and I think that's so important because when it comes to us being in the sun we tend to kind of add a bit of color to our face so actually taking a bronzer with you is a really great way to ensure that you have a really great way to kind of intensify your skin tone add that bit of warmth when you naturally get a bit of color then we're going to apply a bit of the blush which is obviously this color here which is so beautiful I'm actually going to mix it with this one and the pinky blush but look at this on the cheeks how gorgeous is that and then you've got the highlighter, which I'm gonna pop onto the high points of my cheeks. And it just gives that beautiful glow as well. But this is all you would need on holiday, which I really, really love. And then as part of the collection, Vive have also launched some lip oils in three different shades. I've been obsessed with these, particularly this gorgeous pinky color. Now lip oils are fantastic and have been really big this season because they're a great way to kind of give your lips that really beautiful juicy appearance, but they're also super hydrating and nourishing for the lips. So you're basically getting skincare benefits in a really gorgeous lip product as well. I'm gonna pop this on my lip just so you can see. But look at that guys, how stunning. This has brought me so much joy because as somebody that loves beauty, I love to be able to kind of curate my edit of products I absolutely love to take with me whilst I'm gone on holiday. It honestly brings me so much joy. So let me know which product was your favorite. What will you be taking with you on holiday? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Take care, bye. That's it for today. Thank you so much to Martha, Adiola, and of course, Toby, Polly, and Lou on next week's show. Beauty powerhouses, Mona and Huda of Huda Beauty are answering 20 questions in 10 minutes. Charlotte Williams, founder of 76 Agency, is sharing her sustainable life. Plus, more of the team are showing us what's in their fridges. Uh, in the meantime, we would love it if you could comment, leave us a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day, wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.